Rugby Pass here in Tokyo. We're here at Akinabara. Um, a lot of rugby fans that come to Tokyo may indeed want to do something a bit different and go off the beaten rugby track, as it were. Uh, tonight, we're going to do exactly that. We're going to a masked girl cafe. Um, what exactly that is, I'm not sure. We may indeed be missing a rugby match because of it. Don't know what they want that for. Maybe the cleaning staff need to, you know, mop some tables or the floor with it. We're here inside the Masked Girl Cafe. Um, they're wearing Jason Borhe masks uh, from Friday the 13th. I don't know is what that means. They're going to let in the hordes of middle-aged businessmen in a minute. Um, not sure what piece of content we're going to get out of this. The way I understand the way this works is the fans vote at each live event and rate the girls on their performance in a night. Depending on how each girl performs on the night, depends on how much salary she'll earn. I don't know, it's like a Darwinian sort of system as in it's survival of the fittest um, masked girl, I guess. What is that, the average age of a fan? The girls is so young, yeah. so the, my first imagination is maybe teenagers. However, especially weekend, there is so businessmen. So top age is 60 or something like that. Why would 40 to 60 year old men want to come and watch um, beautiful young girls dancing on stage? I mean, it's a mystery, I don't know. When you come in, you buy a ticket. Uh, that ticket allows you to take a photograph with your girl of choice. Use that ticket to vote for whichever girl you want to win the competition, basically. Look, this is, this is Japanese life. Starting to fill up now with men voting for the survival of their chosen teenage girl. Um, what's not to like about that, frankly? <laughs> Man management sadly have told us that the loser tonight has been um, sent home to her province. Her, her family are being turfed out of their home and God knows what will happen to her. Like rugby, it's about winning and losing. And sometimes when you lose underground idol, you don't deserve anything and neither do your family. Why, why is it so popular with uh, older gentlemen? Normally we cannot find any mask girl. We're trying to shoehorn rugby into the segment. Uh, are you now a rugby fan? Uh, well, give it, just, say something like you, you want to be... You're, you're, you say, give me something about rugby. <laughs> we need you just to say some rugby stuff, like predict a Canadian victory in the World Cup. Should this be legal? Uh, no, uh, no. Japan beat Ireland the other day in the World Cup. This has made Irish people very, very sad. Uh, what do you have to say to the Irish people? Nothing especially, but we won the game. Thank you very much. <laughs> he, he's confirmed that Japan did indeed win the game. Could the Irish rugby team learn from the excellent performance of the masked girls tonight? He says that. Is a masked girl, but Ireland will go to the final. I hope so. Oh, well, thank you very much. Well, there you go, a bit of positivity about the Irish team. Which is better, the girls or the Japanese rugby team? Everybody here, girls. So basically, you have to show the guys go up and basically post with the girls, get a photo, get like a sort of sweaty fisted high five. O-M-G, as they say here. What a night. The simple answer would be to maybe poke fun at what we just witnessed. The truth is, I'm not going to be that cynical. There was a great deal of community spirit here tonight. Uh, these girls danced, danced for their lives tonight and by God, they were appreciated. There was a sense of community and togetherness and passion that maybe we saw a little bit of from the Japanese rugby team. That's me shoehorning rugby into this segment again. Um, but good night, uh, mass girls, and good night, underground idol.